Before we dive into the assertion, it is compelling to sort out what molecule gas pedals are. The Massive Hadron Collider, LHC, worked by CERN, is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets. Moreover, it is the world's most prominent and most striking atom smasher. It represents the pinnacle of human scientific accomplishment. As a matter of fact, it's so solid that it would be able to reproduce the genuine states of the first explosion on the planet. Yet, could this machine, intended to unlock the mysteries of the universe, hold the way to something far more dangerous? Founded in 1954, CERN is one of the world's most renowned research associations, with 23 member states and countless researchers. It's a place for cooperation and innovation. The LHC is CERN's central task, yet it is only one portion of a vast network of gas pedals and experiments. Imagine a course, not for vehicles or people, but for subatomic particles, in a trial of mastery, persistence, and space itself. The LHC speeds up protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that reflects the energy of the universe at the moment of the Big Bang. The impacts create temperatures hotter than the center of the sun. A gigantic number of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while complex cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The beams inside the LHC are made to collide at four locations around the accelerator ring, connecting with the spots of four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each fulfills an important purpose, exploring different facets of particle physics. Together, they act as massive cameras, capturing images of these collisions. Analysts then filter through the debris, searching for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other anomalies that may offer clues about the universe's fundamental building blocks. By focusing on the microcosm, we gain insights into the universe. However, with each answer comes another question. With each discovery, another test emerges. The LHC isn't just a scientific tool. It's a demonstration of human curiosity and progress. It embodies our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our desire to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe. Yet, as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the more ethical and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of exploring the unknown? Could our mission to understand inadvertently unlock forces we have no control over? In the sacred halls of CERN, where the limits of human comprehension are continuously pushed, a revelation has emerged that sends a chill down the spine of even the most prepared scientists. Brian Cox, a former scientist at CERN and a voice of expertise in the field of particle physics, has recently made a statement that has left the world both fascinated and uncomfortable. Cox's words resonate with chilling clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a small-scale Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a miniature version of the very event that birthed our universe. The physicist also explained the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's astounding potential for new discoveries. This includes its ability to uncover the secrets of the Higgs boson and investigate dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a huge portion of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to summon the very substance of the universe. It's an enticing prospect, but one fraught with danger. The mini Big Bang is not just a theoretical idea. It's a tangible reality inside the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy, all recreate the conditions of the universe's birth. It's like standing at the beginning of written history, witnessing the dawn of existence itself. However, with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms. What if something goes wrong? In 1978, Russian physicist Anat Borsky experienced an accident that would forever alter the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Piskov, Russia, a failure caused his head to accidentally enter the direct path of a proton beam. The beam, with a force that defies understanding, passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Borsky's experience was extreme. He saw a flash brighter than 1,000 suns but felt no pain. The beam's path left a trail of destruction, burning tissue and bone. Yet he remained conscious and even walked to the treatment center. The outcome was both disturbing and fascinating. The beam's path caused limited tissue damage, 
leading to hearing loss in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Yet, remarkably, Borsky's cognitive functions remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not just a personal tragedy. It's a reminder of the immense power and potential dangers of particle accelerators. The risks of an atom smasher like the LHC are not to be underestimated. The potential for unexpected reactions, the very fabric of existence being altered. These are not the stuff of science fiction, but genuine concerns raised by some respected scientists. One of the most disturbing and intriguing concerns linked to the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, devouring stars and strange substances that lurk in the shadows of our universe. The fact that the LHC could potentially create such a phenomenon, even on a small scale, is staggering to both the public and researchers alike. Could this black hole eventually grow out of control, swallowing the Earth from the inside? Scientists at CERN have reassured the public that any black hole created would be unstable and would vanish very quickly. However, the slim chance of such an event has sparked discussions, fears, and a sense of awe at the power we wield. To understand how the LHC could create a black hole, it's essential to grasp the basic mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy generated is so immense that it bends the very fabric of space-time. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight, and then a heavy object is dropped onto it. The fabric distorts, and if the object is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be pulled into it. This is a simplified analogy for what could happen at the LHC. In the realm of quantum physics, where the laws of the universe are both strange and wondrous, there exists a theory that additional dimensions may be hidden within our universe. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's experiments could tap into them, creating a gravitational well that forms a miniature black hole. This mysterious dance of particles has even caught the attention of several highly respected scientists, including the late Stephen Hawking, who warned of a potential scenario where the Higgs boson could become shaky at exceptionally high energy levels. This shakiness could prompt a damaging vacuum rot, a disastrous occasion that wouldn't simply obliterate the Earth, but might actually obliterate the whole universe. The regarded English cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rhee also expressed concerns about the investigations conducted at CERN. In his book on the future possibilities for mankind, he investigated the expected dangers of particle smasher tests, including those at CERN. His words were not simply preparatory. They were saturated with a sense of existential trepidation. He examined a worst-case scenario where a failed test could create a condition called vacuum instability. This shakiness could, in principle, set off a phase change that would reverberate through the fabric of space-time, resulting in a massive catastrophe that could engulf the entire universe. Rhee's concerns were not limited to the theoretical experiences he described. He assigned a low likelihood to these lamentable results. Nevertheless, he contended that even a small chance warrants serious thought. The stakes are unimaginably high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The scientists at CERN have run reenactments, analyzed the theories, and taken every safeguard to ensure the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself recognized the significance of this, acknowledging the widespread concerns surrounding the activities at the LHC. He emphasized that there are thorough safety measures in place, including extensive reviews and protocols to ensure the LHC's operations are carried out with the utmost attention to detail. Cox reassured that the energies involved are well within what the Earth normally experiences, and the possibilities of creating a stable black hole are cosmically low. Even if one were created, Scientists say it would be so small and unstable that it would dissipate rapidly in an explosion of energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking, known as Hawking radiation. It would be a brief moment of infinite marvel, just a fleeting glimpse into the void, and then gone. Some have gone further, speculating that the LHC's tests could open a doorway to another universe or dimension. While this idea is generally dismissed by mainstream scientists, it has captured the imagination of many and become a subject of interest, fear, and even fantasy. What lies beyond our universe? Could we accidentally release forces or entities that we don't understand? 
The idea of opening a doorway to hell has even been sensationalized in various media, fanning the flames of uncertainty. But how did this idea emerge? And what does it mean in terms of scientific exploration? The concept of extra dimensions isn't new. In physics, string theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, proposes that there may be more than the standard three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception, yet they could hypothetically be accessed or revealed under extreme circumstances. Now, imagine the LHC as a cosmic key, opening doors that have been sealed since the beginning of recorded history. When protons collide at energies never before achieved on Earth, they could, in theory, create waves or disturbances that probe these hidden dimensions. If these dimensions exist, the LHC might potentially reveal them. However, before we get carried away with wild speculation, it's important to understand that while the LHC is certainly powerful, there is no definitive proof to suggest it will open a doorway to another universe, let alone to hell itself. Nevertheless, the allure of the unknown, combined with the mysterious nature of quantum physics, ensures that such ideas will continue to captivate the public imagination. So, should we be worried about the LHC and its potential risks? It's easy to be swept up by sensational headlines and fears of global catastrophe, but the truth is, the scientists at CERN are highly aware of the risks involved. They have taken every precaution to ensure that their tests are safe, and they continue to monitor and assess their work with the highest level of diligence. The potential benefits of the research, breakthroughs in our understanding of the universe, the discovery of new particles, the exploration of dark matter, are truly extraordinary. It's not just a display of human ingenuity, but a window into the very heart of the universe. Still, like any great leap forward in science, it comes with its share of risks, and we must approach it with a balance of wonder, respect, and caution. The Large Hadron Collider represents the cutting edge of scientific inquiry, where theoretical physics meets experimental reality. Its true potential to answer fundamental questions about the universe, such as the origins of mass and the nature of dark matter, is unparalleled. However, despite the rigorous safety measures and detailed calculations, the LHC still evokes a sense of mystery and fear in some. The sheer size of the machine and the energy it produces are awe-inspiring, and each new experiment opens the door to unknown scientific realms. While most scientists remain confident about the safety of LHC experiments, there are inevitable uncertainties. What if new, unexpected anomalies arise that challenge our understanding of physics and the laws of the universe? The LHC pushes the boundaries of human knowledge and tests the limits of our control over the natural world. As particle collisions recreate conditions similar to those of the Big Bang, the significance of these experiments raises existential questions about the possible consequences of altering the very fabric of the universe. Nonetheless, the LHC's achievements in particle physics have been remarkable. It has led to the discovery of the Higgs boson, advanced our understanding of the Standard Model, and open pathways to potential breakthroughs that could one day shape our technological future. Despite the risks, the pursuit of knowledge remains one of humanity's most ambitious endeavors. The journey of scientific discovery is rarely without danger, and the LHC is no exception. Its experiments delve into areas of physics where intuition no longer applies. For decades, physicists have tried to unravel the fundamental forces of nature. Gravity, electromagnetism, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force, each playing a crucial role in the development of matter.